<clears throat> so what you can see now is that we've removed the implant as well as the entire capsule surrounding the implant. The capsule forms whenever you put a foreign body in any human being. Your body's immune system reacts to it by forming a capsule around the foreign body. This happens not only with breast implants, but with pacemakers or pain pumps or joints. Anything that, that's a foreign body that we implant into the body is covered by a capsule. Most of the things that we implant in people are made of titanium steel, and nothing in us is as strong as steel. So if a capsule contracts around a joint or a pacemaker, no one ever knows about it. Women want their breasts to be soft, so a breast implant is soft. When the capsule contracts around the implant, it forms, it deforms the implant, and you can see here the implant is folded in what's called a knuckle. And when an implant is folded like this, from an engineering standpoint, this makes the implant more apt to fail in this area because the implant wasn't designed to be folded like this. So if I open this capsule, what you see is that fold will straighten out, but you see there's still a crease in the implant. And when we take the implant out of the capsule, the implant's perfectly fine. This is a Allergan Style 15, 286cc, smooth wall silicone implant. And here is the entirety of the capsule. And you see that the capsule is not, fi not overly fibrotic, it's not calcified, it's a bit thick, and it's been squeezing the implant, and it's held the implant up in an abnormal position. So now that this has been completely taken out, the pocket is cleaned, all of the, all of the capsule has been removed, and now <clears throat> we're free to do the reconstruction with the stratus and a new implant.